All right, so I'm gonna make a video you're about to see in a few minutes. This is Chopper, my snapping turtle, as long as he cooperates. Uh, basically, pretty big turtle. People wanna know how to keep a big water turtle like this in the cleanest possible environment or tank, so to speak. So I'm gonna show you my 150 gallon uh, stock tank. I'm gonna show you the filter I use. I'm gonna show you the heater that I use, how to clean the tank. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of work, but I'm always about keeping my pets uh, as simple as possible, the cleaning process. So he's being pretty good now. So let's get into this video and hope you guys enjoy it. Bye bye. This is Chopper. When I first got him, he was two inches. The shell, like you can see, he is very big. If I can get him up here without him attacking me. Big turtle. Not too, not too angry today, luckily for me. This is my 150 gallon stock tank snapping turtle enclosure with drain plug. From Lowe's department store. Makes it much easier to drain it this way. And I have the UVB light, heat bulb, little hideaway for the turtle. Can't really see me there because of light reflection. And this is the filter, which is an excellent filter. I'll give all the description on the filter. Also, the heater. I'll give a description on this heater. A very good heater. Check it out there. Excellent heater. I think it's a thousand watts. I'll give you a description on that. And uh, let's see how we clean this thing. So what happens is, if you don't put this gadget on here to drain the tub, the water is not going to come out. Uh, well, it's going to come out quickly. On I, I should say. But the problem is, it's just going to uh, shoot out like crazy. Uh, so I have this here special drain PVC that I put together with the help of some guys at uh, Lowe's department store. And uh, this basically is a fitting that goes on to any garden hose. And then you can run this garden hose any place outside or to a shower stall or any place if you have that kind of an option to drain the tub. Uh, doesn't come out that quick though because this is a flex hose. So the other option I had to make things easier is to get this here bucket and to put this little here elbow on, which it could be done a lot better, obviously. But uh, and then when you open up this here valve, the water should come out pretty quickly. You can do it this way. going to drain about five gallons at a time you just walk that to your sink and dump it that's one quick way of doing it uh, also it's a snapping turtle uh, the water's not too deep in there probably about eight inches probably only up to here the water uh, so you want to keep this clean the whole thing with water turtles is they get very very dirty and you have to do a lot of water changes and clean the filters frequently to keep the water in good condition all right this is the uh, submersible filter I'm using in my snapping turtle enclosure. I have a related video on my YouTube site uh, all about this filter. But let's see how we take this apart and how we're gonna get this cleaned up. There's uh, tabs here, pops this up. In my other video, reviewing this filter, there's a screw that gets attached someplace here which I have taken out permanently. Uh, it's right over this area here. We need to have it in there. These are the bio balls uh, that go in here, but we're going to concentrate on the sponge because this is what we need to clean. Uh, so, we're, initially, when you try to take the sponge out, there's a lot of things holding it in. So, you need to unscrew this here 
this holds in the UVB light. You unscrew that. A lot of people don't know about this stuff. This is why we make these videos. It makes it easy for everybody else. All right, and that comes out a little bit. All right, and then this here comes out through this fitting. Uh, by the way, this is what saved me here is discovering that this fitting was included in the kit because in the turtle tub, if you have a fountain, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Uh, this actually goes under the water or on top of the water, no noise. This unscrews, all right, and when you unscrew this, it is going to release this. And once you release this, you have access to your sponge, and then you can go ahead and clean it. On my shower stall here, and you get this nice and clean. You can see the dirt that this thing picks up. See that there? This works. This shows you that the filter works. Okay, that's the other side. That's the side that picks up the dirt. So we're gonna get this nice and clean, and after we clean it, we'll put it back, uh, we'll reassemble it. All right, let's put this thing back together. We got the sponge with the cutout here. And close it in like that. This is for the pump, the hole for the fountain thing. This here is gonna go through that hole like that. Okay, and then we're gonna screw this on here. You no. Know, that, that up there. Okay. Then we're going to put the UVB light back. A little wire gets tucked in there. And then this gets threaded onto here. Once you catch that the right way, should be good. Okay. And this should go back on top of here. Make sure you got the wire there. Should snap into place and that's it you're all set to put it back into the tank as you can see my hose water was about 60 degrees up to 62 now and uh, this will keep running until it gets up to 76 degrees I'll give it some time before I put the turtle back in there obviously all right we got the filter back in there and it's running and this water will clear up pretty nicely uh, maybe in a couple hours.